our crafters choice pom-pom makers that I just picked up from the Dollar Tree just as good as Clover brand we're about to find out okay not gonna lie to you when I saw these in the Dollar Tree I was super excited I was so excited that I like filmed them and did a YouTube short on them and I put it on Instagram super super excited to see these pom-pom makers because they look so much like the clover ones so i brought them home and i did a little test of course now my clover set i'm gonna hold up the little card here i don't have the the pom-pom makers in it because i use them fairly often so that set comes with four four different size pom-pom makers you got the teeny tiny you got the small you got the medium and you got the jumbo. <laughs> now the store or the Dollar Tree has the teeny tiny and the small and the medium. Now they might have a jumbo size. I don't know. They did not have one in my store when I went. Now looking at the packaging, not a lot for instructions. A little bit of instruction, but not a lot. The Clover, a little bit more instruction, plus I think there's a website that you can visit. I'm not positive about that though. <laughs> I know that I did an instructional video on how to use this and it it's really exactly the same as using these. So the, the, the way you use them is exactly the same, it's just a different product. Now, the first experiment that I did I used the teeny tinies. They're even close in color. Okay, this is the Dollar Tree. This is the Clover. Now, if you look closely, you see the Clover has all of these little lines here. Those are to help you to place your colors so that you can make different designs. The Dollar Tree uh, version does not have that. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell by looking at it from here, but if you look at the the, uh, the track where you would put your scissors to cut your yarn and you compare them, you can see the quality difference. You know, the Dollar Tree is, is just not thick. It's really thin and kind of flimsy looking where the Clover is really tight and, and thick and strong. So um, that's a close up look at the two of them. So the first experiment was with the teeny tinies, like I said, and when I opened up the trays, you won't be surprised maybe to find that it literally fell apart. Like these things fell right off. I was able to snap them back on so that I could use it, but just a disclaimer, it did fall right off. So that never happened with my clovers. Um, other than that, once I got it snapped back together, I was able to use it, um, but it's not as good quality. But again, you know, you're at the Dollar Tree. So these are the two pom-poms that I used. I used the solid colors for all of these experiments. I used solid colors for the Clover and multi-colors for the Dollar Tree. So these are the difference in the pom-poms. Now, I wasn't able to use as much yarn in the Dollar Tree one because like I said, it did fall apart. It only fell apart with the small size. It didn't fall apart with the other sizes, but I was a little hesitant to use more yarn than that because I didn't want it to fall apart again. Um, so this is the Clover one, nice and thick, no lines uh, showing where, you know, your yarn is all gathered. Now in the Dollar Tree one, <laughs> the Dollar Tree one, you can definitely see where the yarn that gathers it is. It's right there. And no matter how much I kind of try to fluff it, you can still you can still see where it is. It's just not as thick. It's not as it's not as pretty. <laughs> okay, so moving on, I did use um, the other sizes, and actually, I didn't have any problems with the Dollar Tree ones at all. Just the just that uh, really teeny tiny one that I have problems with. So you might be able to see a little bit of more fluff with, with the clovers, but not too bad. Okay, so I did think that I would demonstrate um, how to use these just so you can kind of see the difference in them. Again, 
if you can see the little lines that are on the clovers. That is really nice if you're going to be making different designs with your colors. You know, you just fill in certain sections. Um, and it's, it's just nice and kind of tight as it closes. Where with the Dollar Tree one, it's just, first of all, there's no lines. And these, I don't know, they just don't feel as secure and as tight. But we're gonna go ahead and use the same yarn with each of them and see what we think. I think I'll just speed it up a little bit here. I will say it's not as easy to get your scissors placed on the Dollar Tree one. Uh, I like that nice big space that they have on the clover one. And I'll show you that when I do the clover one. But other than that, it's pretty easy to cut along the track. Yeah, see, it lifts it up when I put my scissors in there. And you really do want it to kind of stay secure and in place. You don't want it like flopping around on you. And we're going to just run our yarn in here. Tie it off. Or cut it off, excuse me. And then we're going to tie it off. I always snug it right down tight and then flip it over. And then kind of double it on the other side. That's just how I do it. Okay, then you open these little guys up. Open them up on the other side, and then you separate them. This is supposed to happen, don't worry. They are gonna come apart. Pop it back in there. And then fluff it out. After that, you can trim the ends, which I will do over this little card so I don't make too big of a mess. Just to tidy up a bit. But otherwise, yeah, it looks like a decent looking pom-pom. And this is the Dollar Tree pom-pom. So we'll set that one aside. And now we'll go ahead and do the clover. I don't think I'm gonna have enough yarn here, so I am gonna grab a different color. It will be the exact same kind of yarn, though. It's, they're all, uh, all almost all the yarn that I use is um, Big Twist by Joanne. So I'm just gonna go grab some of that. Okay, so I've got some pink Big Twist yarn. We're gonna use that for our clover example. So, just so much heavier duty plastic, really makes a big difference and the construction's just better they don't fall off <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now, if you see here, this is much wider and it's much easier to get my scissors into that slot to cut along that track. So that is nice. Okay, then we are going to tie it off. Snug it right down. Flip it over. And tie it nice and tight without breaking your yarn. That's important. And now we're going to open up the levers on either side of this one. Pull it apart. Pop it back together. Shake it out, give it a good shake. <laughs> Trim off some of those long ends. I'm always afraid I'm gonna to cut too much when I do these trimming parts. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a side-by-side -side look. Not too much difference. I think they both do the job. They both do a good job. So yeah, bottom line, if, if you're just gonna be making pom-poms occasionally, once in a while, or maybe it's for a, a kiddo, you know, to play around with the Dollar Tree, uh, the Dollar Tree one will be fine. It will, it will do the job for you. However, if you want one that's going to last and be much more enjoyable to use, I do recommend the Clovers. They are a bit pricier, but usually high quality stuff is more <laughs> expensive than going to the Dollar Tree. I guess the bottom line in these two different products is uh, you just kind of have to determine how much you're going to use it. I use my clovers quite a bit and I know they're going to last forever. Um, so it, it makes sense that I would spend a little bit more money on it. If you're just doing a quick project, um, like you're just making a couple little hats um, for gifts and you're probably not going to make pom-poms very much, the Dollar Tree ones will probably get you what you need. They're not going to last forever. They may fall apart while you're using them, but they do snap back together. Um, they are going to do the job. It's not going to be as fun to use them though. If you'd like to learn more about making pom-poms and pom-pom makers and what you can do with pom-poms after you've made them, join us at the Chiclet Clubhouse on Wednesday night and we're going to talk all about it.